Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Tierna Hak Kadaktis has quite the head start. There's a chasm here. The Tierna Hachkadachtas is ad. I need a bit of practice. Ha! <laughs> 
We're on the right track. There are some fresh prints here. I hope she didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be another egg here. We should be careful. this fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. Close to Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? After revealing your conspiracy to me? You deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. Ah! 
Tiana Hark? She's unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. Tiana, <laughs> 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 he does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me, Ranaikse? <laughs> We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here and to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite. But the crimes of the Renaixe enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name. Enon Mil Frigdimin. The God of a Thousand Faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. Precisely. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago, a lot longer than we first thought. The Malachor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, one thing is certain. If there is something, or someone on this island, powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress.
Dr. Sade, I'm happy to see... Can I do anything? How did you feel when we visited the cave? Astonishment, I think. It was... It could have been a perfect moment. Uh, is that... I'm starting to... Anything else? Do you think that it... Yes, this writ, this new vision... I hope I'll... We share... And I can't... Anything else? What do you think... Of... It's... On the con... Do you ever think that you... To be honest... What about now? I do not like to... But for some... T anything else? I must leave you. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh, Constantine, is it true? Are you in great pain? This sickness is horrible, believe me. Now I understand what your mother went through. But you have not come to hear my complaints. Speak, it will give me something else to ponder. Allow me to present Afra, an emissary of the Bridge Alliance. She is an imminent naturalist who studies local flora in an effort to find a remedy. Your Excellency, it is a great honor. You were part of Governor Burren's lost expedition, if I've understood correctly, were you not? Yes, and our research would have borne fruit if it hadn't been so brutally interrupted. I can only imagine. Nevertheless, you are most welcome. Your great learning will certainly prove useful. I implore you, my dear cousin. Do continue. We are eager to hear your news. I wanted to inform you of our progress made in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they both pointed in the same direction, towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him En Onmil Frichtemann, the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth, even a superstition? I saw it with my own eyes take shape during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. You are referring to the secret we unearthed. The entire continent is paying today for the errors of our grandparents. It is a terrifying perspective. But if it were true, he must also be able to help us heal. Katasak, my friend. I saw you flinch hearing that name. You were familiar with this being. All of the Donegada know him, even in their flesh. He is Tirfredi. It is with him we make our bond. But we would be surprised that he is at the origin of your sickness. He is generous and only rages when attacked and wounded. I fear that that is exactly what we did. Cousin, I know that I ask much of you, but... I have no choice. You need to go and find this magical being. I won't survive for much longer. Beg him. Offer him all that he wants, but we must have this remedy. I need it. I shall do all in my power, Constantine, I promise you. But I need to find a way to communicate with him. I was already sent to fight a guardian under that pretext, and it almost killed me. There is a way. A way so sacred that even we, Donegada, cannot use it. Enon Mil Frichtiman decides. It is not I who judges your intentions. Go and find Glendon, the sage of the village council of Dorhagenadu. If he deems you worthy, he will guide you. To be able to speak with him, you must present this seal. It will prove that you are the friend of a member of the Council. I had no idea that such a talisman was required. You have not yet been named Mal of your clan, Siora, daughter of Bladnet. When this has come to pass, we will give you a seal that allows you to give voice to your friends when visiting the Council. 
It is a symbol of great trust. Why are you awarding me this? I do not wish to lose the soul who has put their life in my hands. And also, you have proven you are our friend back there in my village. Thank you, Katasak. I will not forget this honor you bestow upon me. And thank you, dear cousin, for everything. Deward. Hello, my name is Desarde. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, legate Desarde. No, this building is closed to Renaixe. I am Siora, daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Mal of the Red Spears, was a member of the council. All here remember, and the Vorst Tirse. She was a courageous Mal. But you are not yet Mal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasach, of the village of Wenshavie. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Desarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial. The trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose? That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face, and return purified by the waters of the cavern. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem segu.
You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? Nothing else, thank you. Good luck. Karanz, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renagze better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Let's go. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, Father. My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? What exactly do you hope to do in this village? Well... Bring light to these naive souls. When we spread the word of sin... Anything else? We would like to know more about the agreement you... I do not see how our agreement... We swore to provide this village... In exchange, its inhabitants will have... My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the light was the only true path. Even if she was attached. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement. She had an engraver come to Valry. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but... You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under us. By not respecting us, you are committed... Because you think that you can administer justice... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. That is an excellent... Here is the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. There are but a few. We did not have one in our... He must be the one who engraved... I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that they keep those who want to seal a promise.
strange. It looks like no one's there, but the door's left open. Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. A sculpted engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. It's as if someone wanted to meticulously destroy everything in this workshop. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Barayag Nodas, Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigador, and we'll find out. What brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He, he did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He taught that we should be fighting them throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaesrad, and I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone. He must have left. Is there anything else? I must leave. Qua will.
It is Karadilik. He's over there. Siora! Bertir Tumad Donegad! What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the Keepers of Promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to... So you're a kind of cleric? Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaiks. We did not like them, and now that she is no longer with us... It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. Rinaigse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life, and because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the Rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The Rebels? The Donea Exregal. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you join them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, Take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Donegad. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions. And they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to Iselt. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We went to Falristel to see the stone. Were you able to read it, Siora? No, because it was destroyed by someone. I am certain that the priests did it to protect their lies. You're probably right, but for as long as we cannot prove it... We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. 
don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. By lying, you have insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well, we're leaving. But we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. <sighs> I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Anol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the Earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Do you need something? I must pass the trial of water. Do you know anything about it? I have heard it talked about. It is a trial that all must pass if they wish to become the High King. One says that the trial reveals the true personality of those who pass it. My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed, and there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Hmm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. Anything else? How did you know that those missionaries were lying? After all, given the situation, your mother I knew my mother well. I understand. However, couldn't she have renounced it in the hope of protecting her daughters? Perhaps. But she knew us just as well as we knew her. And she knew that we'd rather die in battle. Anything else? I must leave you. 